Okay, now uh, the audio was uh, there was a problem with the audio. I think now it's it's good. You can confirm that into the chat. Let me know if you can hear me. Just waiting for the confirmation. Okay, now now is everything's fine. All right. Um, well, let me recap because I was talking and you were not listening. So let's go back to our presentation. I was saying that we are multi multicasting in a different platform, in YouTube, Facebook, and uh, Vmail, and our, on our website, tradewithufo.com slash live. So the first half hour is going to be uh, multicast, like you said, but the next half hour is going to be only on tradewithufo.com slash live. So you need to go there to continue watching the uh, this broadcasting. Okay. All right. So let's go back um, here. I was saying here that, uh, as you know, I trade the, the euro and I would like to see uh, before entry any tray or even look at the uh, the charts I would like to compare how the the euro is doing against other currencies and here in in this website and there are all others where you can uh, check this out you can see that how the euro is behaving against the basket of currencies that are trade with uh, usually with the euro I mean the US dollar the the pound the yen the Canadian dollar, all of them against the euro. So we can see here that today is, uh, is trading on the downside because it's, it's weak. It's the euro who is weak. This way you know who, who is strong. Is if you know is the dollar strong, is the uh, the pound strong. You can compare that using uh, the kind of this kind of tool to to check which one is the, the strong. Um, currency in this case okay in this case we can see that the euro is uh, behaving weak weak uh, today as it did yesterday and, and the day before um, so that will help us to determine our, our bias all right when to when we're about to trade when are we going to be selling or, or buying okay so let's check on the uh, trading view here we have the euro chart as well, and we can see how the UFOs. Let me delete this line out from before. How the UFOs are actually confirming or downtrend here. You can see the red UFO here, so it's a very good selling sun because you can see all these rotation in this area and, and now how it drops and it will continue going down and maybe it will go up into this area so we work we can sell and make some profit okay and the climate indicator actually indicating that we are um, on a downtrend and it's confirmed you can see the red circles is when it is confirmed when you see the small dot it means that it's not confirmed so you can see here for example how it started to go up in this area and the climate just printed a small dot meaning that it was not uh, confirmed then it would start going up here stronger and it did confirm and then it started going down again right so that's how the climate indicator works and you can get these uh, two indicators any of them all you need to go uh, is to to our website to trade with UFO in this case slash Pedro so you can get uh, these indicators okay all right so our bias definitely is gonna be on the selling side and that's what we're going to do we're gonna be selling uh, today so let's go to the chart to the actual chart where we're going to trade uh, let me bring it up. 
OK, here we are. I have the chart here where we are going to be trading the euro. And let's try to find a good spot where to place a trade. OK, so the first thing I will be looking for is a, a rotation area from the uh, this currency where I can find a good volume of trades that will help me to um, to determine my entries and also my exits, all right, my protection, everything. So if I look at the uh, the movement that we have here on the euro, let me just uh, bring it up. Just a second. Okay, here we are. We can see some rotations here in this area, but the most important one are here on the top. This is where our our indicator, the trade with UFO, show us that it was a, a selling opportunity, all right, on this high. I just highlighted this area. All right, so now we have it highlighted, and we can see um, this rotation area here. It will help us to be our protection as well as possible entry. Okay, then we we need to find out where is the best uh, entry that we might get. There is also another area that we might uh, be looking at right here this one right it's looking uh, also nice rotation even though we have a break up on the upside here but it has been working let's let's highlight it as well all right so we have this area also, who we have just highlighted, because it's very close to the other one. And so we might be finding entries either in here or here, right, for, um, for a quick trade, because we have to be uh, very careful here with the liquidity that is available on, on both sides, both sellings and, and buying in order to protect our entry, All right? If you have any any question, you can always use the, the chat, All right, that you have in, on our website. Um, or in Vimeo, also in YouTube, you can, uh, um, you can have questions there. Uh, I'll see a comment on, on, on YouTube right now. Keton Trader is asking if I can buy with BTC. I don't know what he means. I guess he's mean the uh, buying the indicators. Um, you can pay with your credit card if you want to, to subscribe to any of the indicators. Is that what you mean? And all right. Let's continue. So we have um, two very nice uh, rotation areas here. And what we like to do is find out the perfect spot where to place our entry. Okay, we can see the, the arrow still trading on the downside. So we have uh, time to plan our entry in these areas. Okay, and what I like to do is when I see this this kind of rotation, you know, you can see the volume here on the on the left side, and these volumes, uh, we, you can we can see how they have some spot that are like empty, right? And usually, uh, prices tend to go back to these areas. It's like you know, it's an empty space, so it's where people place their, their their entries, right? Because they can see how the liquidity can can easily go to that to that price. Okay, and when there is high liquidity about it, the price will might, might stop there. It might continue anyway, but the highly you know 
chances are that it will stop right here on this empty volume spot. So we need to find um, a good a spot where we can place our entry. It's going to be very high uh, today from, from where we are right now. I have two possible candidates on where to place our entry. Let me just uh, check the time. Um, it's my local time. Don't pay attention to the time on the chart. It's my local time, Spain. All right, so at 13.25, uh, we have uh, here this this one. This seems to be a very nice entry spot, but I'm going to change the candles to cluster so I can see the actual volume on every candle. All right, get back. Fine. All right, so it's going to be here. Remember that this volume on the left, we can see actually the the volume inside the the candles. Okay, so we can find um, various spots here in these breakout candles. One thing that I, that I would like to to have is there my entry in line with the liquidity so you can see this uh, spot is very very um, empty so I would like to take that as a possible entry I, wanna, I, I can set uh, several entries if, if I'm going to trace several contracts I can divide my entries into into different um, volumes okay so that's uh, another good strategy that you can use all right so we can see the empty spots that we have found and let's see what's how far away are from the current price you can see well it has set four Let's now place the entries. We are, we are very close to one. You can see here is the liquidity is 102, 103. And the, the upside, you know, after the, uh, the areas that we mark as rotation, there's a big one right here. So this might be uh, one of our possible stop losses, okay? So let's uh, place our first entry. Second entry right here. This first entry, um, which is the the one that you're gonna be under more risk, we need to get out of there uh, fast as possible. So the X is gonna be more, um, you know more quick than the others. All right, so I just place uh, four entries, each each one uh, one lot, one contract. You can divide it uh, as you like, depending on your risk uh, management. And I'm going to, well, I already did. Uh, let me see how my, my Auto exit. My strategy has four counts. I'm gonna add one because I have four four entries. It's gonna be set up after uh, an inside. Okay. When when I get inside, I will move my stop. I don't know. Probably be, um, right here right behind this this area okay so let's see how how it goes in a few minutes um i think we need to to go to the um the private session so remember you need to go to to the uh, to our website 
in order to continue watching this um, this broadcasting. Okay, I'll find out how the trade's gonna go. Okay, remember here is the uh, the address is tradewithufo.com live. That's where you need to go. Okay, if you want to continue watching the transmission after the first half hour is over. Okay. All right, let's see, Tina watching what's going on here. Remember, you have any question, please, you can use the chat. You can also send me an email at pedro at predictive.com. You have any question, you're watching the recording, okay? All right, let's see, price uh, is going up right now. We can see how it's starting to move on the upside a little bit. Not enough for our entry yet. Change to candles so you can see uh, better the layout here. This is our entries, right, for entries. We are expecting to have a very quick exit. The maximum level that we might get out it's going to be around this this green line right here because you can see how well you're going to actually see it on the clusters let me go back to clusters in that area how many buyers were very aggressive you can see here 138 so they will probably try to continue buying around this area right but we don't know that we need to see what's going on and what's going to happen so we can react pretty fast knowing exactly what is being traded right something that you cannot do if you're not looking at uh, the clusters or the liquidity that, I, that is available okay so let's uh, wait and see if we can finally get the tray um, triggered. Check the time. All right, we've been live 29 minutes now. So, Right now, there's 30 minutes uh, live, so we're gonna switch to um, to our streamer um, in our website. So you need to go there if you are looking at in YouTube for any other platform. Remember to go to our website, tradewithufo.com/live to continue watching how this trade is gonna develop. And what we're gonna do once we get the the trade triggered, okay? All right. So now I'm going to um, stop transmitting on Facebook. And also on YouTube. So see you on our website. Remember the address straight with ufo.com slash live all right see you there